There were boos and shouts of throw the bum out. Bob Hope said shameful. Billy Graham was described as purple. The scene was the White House, where old friends and wealthy Republicans gathered last night to help President Nixon celebrate the 50th anniversary of the Reader's Digest. Bernard Shaw reports. In the East Room, President Nixon began introducing the entertaining Ray Conniff singers by saying, if the music is square, it's because I like it square. I think we could perhaps say that their success has been indicated by the great number of their records that have become bestsellers. Uh, we could, in a sense, say that they are to music what the Reader's Digest has been in print. Everything they touch turns to gold. No one knew that Canadian-born Carol Ferrasi had a concealed protest banner. President Nixon, stop bombing human beings, animals, and vegetation. You go to church on Sundays and pray to Jesus Christ. If Jesus Christ were here tonight, you would not dare drop another bomb. Bless the Berrigans and bless Daniel Ellsberg. Miss Ferrasi sang through the first number, but then Ray Conniff asked her to leave. The camera left, too. White House ground rules laid down beforehand permitted filming only of the first number. Later at a Virginia motel, Miss Ferrasi told CBS News... One of the women asked me, um, how could I come to somebody's private home and uh, do such a thing, you know, create a fuss? And I said to her, you know, I'm sure that... Uh, when uh, in the time of Jesus Christ, there were lots of people that said to him, look, you know, if you don't like it here, why don't you uh, go back up to uh, heaven with daddy up there and, you know, uh, just leave us alone. Um, that's, you know, we've got to change it. And that's what I'm doing. Miss Ferrasi says she intentionally joined the group to stage the protest. A very shocked Ray Conniff said some singers cried with embarrassment. And President Nixon praised the group, telling Conniff not to worry that this sort of thing happens. Martha Mitchell said Miss Ferrasi, quote, ought to be torn limb from limb. Bernard Shaw, CBS News, the White House. This was the scene at the White House last night as President Nixon presented the Medal of Freedom to DeWitt Wallace and his wife, the founders of Reader's Digest. It was the pleasant part of the evening for the president and his guests. The unpleasant part came earlier during the entertainment. When the Ray Conniff singers came on, one of the singers, Carol Faraci, made a short speech about Vietnam. The guests, including Bob Hope and the Reverend Billy Graham, didn't like it, and there were shouts of, throw her out. President Nixon, stop bombing human beings, animals, and vegetation. You go to church on Sundays and pray to Jesus Christ. If Jesus Christ were here tonight, you would not dare drop another bomb. Bless the Berrigans and bless Daniel Ellsberg.
I can say is I must apologize. I, uh, I guess I'll have to make sure from now on that my singers listen to your speeches. They don't seem to know what's going on. Uh, I... Miss Faraci said she made the speech because she thought it would get national attention. It did. Ray Conniff and his uh, very famous uh, choral group will now entertain us. And if the music is square, it's because I like it square. <laughs> But protest closes in, even at the White House. President Nixon, stop bombing human beings, animals, and vegetation. You go to church on Sundays and pray to Jesus Christ. If Jesus Christ were here tonight, you would not dare drop another bomb. Bless the Berrigans and bless Daniel Ellsberg. Mm -hmm. 